Hey guys, Dave here from Easy Country Cooking and Cooking Share. Well, looking for something again midweek, something fairly easy but creative. And I realize we don't have many miyaki dishes, so I threw together a bacon beef miyaki skillet, and it came out absolutely incredible. What more can I say? So let me show you how to do this. Okay, guys, we're going to begin here by grabbing up about eight strips of bacon. Now I'm just going to go ahead and chop this up. Then we are just going to throw this into the good old cast iron pan over medium-high heat here. Now we'll just fry this up until it gets a little bit on the crispy side. And don't get me going about the smell of frying bacon in the morning. Oh, it is just so good. All right, now we're kind of crisp here, guys. Semi-crisp, at least. I'm going to kill the heat. And I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside on a plate. Now, my friends, in the same pan, we don't have to add any oil because we got that bacon grease in there. We're going in with about 10 ounces of quick fry miyake. Now, like I said, guys, this is the quick fry stuff. It's a lot easier. I mean, you know, if you're going to use the regular miyake, you're going to have to boil up. But, you know, this works out well because... You can just fry it up and we'll just stir and fry this for about oh i don't know four or five minutes something like that till it's cooked through after about five or six minutes guys our quick fry niyaki is done so into a bowl we go with this and this does look pretty good next up guys in the same pan i'm going in with a bit of oil because that niyaki has absorbed up most of my bacon grease then we are going in with a pound or an LB of medium ground beef. I'm just going to break this up. And we'll go ahead and fry this until it's, you know, browned and cooked through. And while we're frying up, guys, I do have to announce that I have a video coming out next week on the Outdoor Kitchen. Now, don't be getting all excited because it's just kind of an introduction and a plan of what I'm going to do and, and showing you around the garden in the backyard and I want your feedback but it is a start to the outdoor kitchen so stay tuned for that I'd say maybe Tuesday Wednesday type of thing alrighty then now we're pretty much free eyed up I'm gonna move everything to one side and we're going in with half a small chopped onion and of course you'll never guess it three cloves of garlic I would just kind of stir and saute this just for a couple of minutes until that as I always say, that incredible aroma fills the air. Now, of course, we shall mix everything together. On Man Oh Man, guys, this is smelling absolutely incredible. Next up, I'm going to go back in with about three quarters of that bacon because we're going to save a bit for garnish. I guess something like that. Now the gnocchi. Add in a, some Italiano seasoning, just for some seasoning. I'd say, you know, a teaspoon or two of this. A little bit of salt, not too much. That bacon is salty enough. And a good teaspoon of ground black pepper. And we'll give everything a stir around here carefully so we don't get any spillage and we don't damage that gnocchi. Next up, in with a cup of tomato sauce. Then about, oh, I'd say, half a cup of cream, and about, oh, I'd say a tablespoon of ketchup. Now we just give everything a stir around until it combines up nicely. Oh, I think this is going to be absolutely delicious, guys. Now, a few variations, like I add ketchup just for that bit of sweetness, but you could also put in some barbecue sauce or some barbecue sauce along with the ketchup. And uh, you could use heavy cream. Um, I'm just using table cream here. And also, you don't have to use the tomato sauce. You can use just water. But to me, that's kind of boring. So I just uh, went ahead and used the tomato sauce, maybe a bit of Worcestershire sauce. And, uh, you know, just go ahead and be creative and put whatever you like in there. Now we brought this to a slow boil here, guys. I am going to grate some cheese over the top. Uh oh. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is slip this into the broiler for a few minutes, just until that cheese melts down and everything solidifies. After a few minutes in the oven, guys, our skillet is pretty much done, and just look at this. Absolutely fantastic. Now I'm going to garnish this up with some green onion, 
fresh from the garden. Some chopped tomatoes. Oops, again, fresh from the garden. And my friends, the rest of that bacon. Oh yeah, man, this kind of look like a cheeseburger, isn't it? And there you have it, my friends, our bacon beef gnocchi skillet. Oh, the entire family is going to love it because it is so good. So I'm going to grab up a spoon here and see what we can get. Make sure I get a little bit of everything. Look at the cheese, the gnocchi, the bacon, the beef. Oh, I bet you this is going to be good. All right, guys, down the old hatch. Yep, I'll win. You know, it's interesting. This is a little bit like a cheeseburger. I mean, it's got a combination of everything. The gnocchi, not that not the gnocchi isn't a cheeseburger, but the bacon, the beef, the sauce. This is absolutely incredible. you got to make this. And if you do, leave us a comment because we love to read them. Stay tuned for the video next week, by the way. And uh, subscribe because it's free. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. And, of course, I'm going to have more of this. It is so good. And see you next time.